Hey guys, Jeff Howard here at KiteBuddy.com, and I'm here to show you the new bar from Nash. Now, some of the companies are starting to get into this lightweight system. So when you're out there foiling, you want to rig up your rig with uh, a light or small carbon bar. Well, this is Nash's. This is called the Zero. I think they did a really cool job. Um, it still can be ridden just like any bar. So you've got your flag out, you've got your standard line um, sizing to take all the load, as well as your center Nylatron, which is removable and adjustable and everything else. So what it comes with is it's got this tiny bar. This diameter is really small. So you've got carbon on the ends, carbon winder, so it makes it easy to wind. It has their aluminum center, again, with that Nylatron. So any kind of wear and tear goes onto the Nylatron. That can be unbolted and replaced in there. Um, they use a spinnaker release. This is really cool. This uh, will clip into your bar, clip into a ring or a line on your harness, but it's designed to be released under load. A lot of people don't understand that. Why not just use a lower cost shackle or something like that? The reason is it's not designed to be released under load. So some of them will lock up when it's under load, but these will not. This is a really cool system. It makes it where you can replace your center line uh, very simple. It does have a flag out, so you don't have to give up your flag out if you don't want that. Uh, want to give that up in some of the lightweight systems. Um, it has adjustable stoppers on the lines. So if you want to adjust your limit of how far out it goes, you can move that stopper down, of course, to a limit. Um, then you can also adjust your clam cleat. So the line weaves in, comes back through. So this is completely adjustable to bring that a little bit closer to you if you need that for shorter arms. Um, it also has an adjustable one down at the bottom. Not that you would really adjust that very much. The distance between that and your uh, connection is pretty much standard in a chicken loop length, but it does allow you to adjust that and move that if you wanted to. So that's what's really cool about it is it gives you all kinds of adjustabilities. It is a standard width. You're looking at about 50, uh, 50 centimeters, which is pretty much the most common for about any kite size out there. If it flies some of the smaller ones, you could stall turn it but you would have to adjust out for that. Um, I have a lot of guys who get a 50 centimeter bar to fly all their foil kites on and it works. It works really well. Um, it does, as I said, it has the cam cleat in here. All of the system I've looked it over and it allows pretty good, easy replacement. It, again, it has their standard flag out on here. It also has a adjustable stopper ball up that line. So it limits the flag out. So the bar doesn't just continue up the line when you do flag that out. So with that said, it also has the bungees on the ends, which makes it pretty handy when you wrap everything up. It does have substantial amount of winders on there, uh, length of winders, which I really like. Some of them are too small and it's kind of frustrating to wrap those lines on there. Um, the lines themselves are pretty much standard sizing. It's not like the micro lightweight sizing. So if you wanted to do that, uh, you would have to go into a lighter weight line to, to get less drag but it's overall full standard strength. Um, you don't have to worry about that lightweight side. Line links, you're looking at a 22 meter line set um, and also comes with the additional two meter line set so you can get that all the way out to 24, which is pretty much standard for overall. When I'm foiling, I like the 20 and 22s are where I like to put my kites at because I'm riding kind of the smaller size kites and I want them to move very quick. Anyway, it comes with the bag, has a neat little bag to it, comes with their standard leash um, to connect onto your flag out. But all in all, I think they did a fantastic job. You've got adjustable outside leaders, adjustable stoppers, everything on it will work as a standard setup. And again, you can see that it, this will lock in pretty much to any standard ring or any kind of line you'd wanna put around your harness. But overall, Nash did a great job on this three quarter inch diameter bar and lightweight, really cool system. If you have any questions about it working for your rig or different uh, pigtails or something like that to work on whatever kite you want, uh, don't hesitate, give us a call here. Anyway, that is the new Nash for 2023, their new Nash Zero Kite Bar.